Hello, this is Steve DeVar, author of BookScan Wizard, and I'm going to go through uh, an example on using the, the product. Select the, the file that has the scans in it. And uh, in this case, I'm using separate images for the left and right side, sides of the page, and they're in the LNR directories. Okay, um, source DPI, I'm going to go ahead and enter a number here. PSW does have a few different ways of calculating that source DPI, so you don't have to uh, figure out what it is ahead of time. Uh, but for this example, I'm just going to hard code it. Destination DPI, that's what, what you want it to output. Uh, we have an option of keeping the same DPI that we started with or converting it to a different uh, uh, DPI, and I'll choose 300. File format. We can choose a PDF file, or we can choose a set of images in the different formats, and I'll keep it as a PDF. Output type. We can convert it to grayscale or a bitonal or black and white image. Uh, in this example, I'll leave it as color. And uh, here we have the orientation of the pages. Uh, and uh, so we'll leave that as is. Use focal length for source DPI. That's one of the options uh, that BSW has for calculating the source DPI. But it requires a bit of setup uh, to use. Uh, so we'll skip that for now. OK, and here we come to the main page of BSW. Uh, the way this way BSW works is it creates a script file that you can use either in, interactively or in a batch file, so or like on a command line. So it gives you the idea is that uh, you can rerun it, you can change it, um, and not not lose all the configuration that you did to get it to get uh, it to get the output that you had. So anyway. Uh, to select a page, you can double click uh, uh, a thumbnail. You can also choose from the drop down list. You can use the left and right buttons. If you hold down the shift key while, I while pressing the left or right button, it'll go ahead uh, to the next even or odd page. You can also, if you're just working with uh, left or right pages, you can you can uncheck this to to just show just the right or just the left or both of them together. And okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is to mark the. I have some pages here at the beginning that I don't want included in the book. They were just test scans. So what I did was. Select the first one, go to the last one I want to delete, hold down the shift key to select them, and then right click and remove pages. And uh, so you see that th that they aren't they aren't actually deleted, they're just not going to be included in the in the final book. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is Correct the keystone um, or perspective distortion. This will also take care of rotating the page, squaring things up. Uh, there's two. There's a couple different ways that we can do this. What I will do here first is show you the kind of a simple way to, uh, if you want to crop and fix the perspective all in one option, select the four corners of the page. Right click and fix perspective and crop. So then I go to the to the right side of the pages and do the same thing. Okay. Now if uh, if you want to adjust a corner, you just have to drag to drag it and uh, fix it and and fix it up like that. 
once you've got the, the corners set, we'll go ahead and do the fixed perspective and crop. And you'll see that what it's done is uh, it's added a couple of configuration lines to for the left and right sides. And uh, we can take a look at, just scroll down to farther in the book, just to see if they're, how it's looking or if we need to adjust it. And it does look like we need to adjust it a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and move the corners a little bit and then do another fixed perspective and crop. And here you see that there is uh, for for the right for the left page we just have the one crop. For the right we have two crops that it's calculated. The first one we did this is the first one we did and then it's saying that starting at page 43 to use this new crop. So we can create as many different crops as we need or different many perspective and crops as we need to uh, keep the book uh, lined up. Okay, so now to to preview this filter, or preview what, what's going to happen, if we click on the perspective checkbox, instead of just showing you those blue outlines, it actually converts the page and, and shows you what your, your final result is going to be. Um, one important thing to note is that when you click around in here and and you hit preview, it will preview up to the point where that uh, the the white section. So it won't do the gray section. So this can be used if you're just you know just checking the script out. You can see what the results of each each uh, command are by moving it down, hitting preview. Um, it does mean, however, that if you're you're seeing you aren't seeing the results and you're wondering what, what's happening chances are that uh, you've got you just need to click below the operation that you're that you're actually previewing other helpful things to know is that if you click on a an operation and hit the F1 key you'll get uh, some help showing you how to use that command and then if you double click uh, in here, it will actually insert the command back into uh, into your configuration. Okay, next thing. So, actually, right now, if this is all that you want to do, you just have to hit submit, and it would go ahead and convert convert the book and make the PDF show the next next way of doing it instead of doing a perspective and crop all in one operation you can do them separately um, which is going to be more accurate and will let you um, get the crop just where you want without having to um, it, it just makes it a little e little easier to keep things lined up so I'm going to go ahead and do another way of uh, doing the perspective correction. And here what I did was I just just made, put the corners in on something that should be square or, or at least you know right angles and fix perspective. So I'm not cropping I'm just fixing the perspective. I'll see if that's looking okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to hit preview. And uh, since a perspective is, is selected there, um, we can see what the results of, of the crop are, or what, what the results of the perspective are. And now I'm going to add a, a crop window. So I'm going to select two points. And 
You can also drag drag the rectangle around until you get it just where you want it. And uh, then what I'm going to do is hold down the control key and do a mouse click on that second line there. And you'll see what that gives us in a bit. So I'm going to go ahead, click crop. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the go to the next page. Now I'm going to come here to this previous crop and click on copy points to viewer. You see that what this does is it takes that previous crop, copies it back to this page. And then we can drag it to the same position that the previous uh, crop was done at. Okay, that looks good. And we can hit crop. Now I'll click the crops button here. That will let us preview the crop. So here's the here's the first page, and I'll I'll go back to to the previous page here, and there you have it. It's it's the same size, uh, pretty much the same position. So then, what we can do. Well, let's see. The just to go through these options here, the save to scale to DPI. That's the command that that changes it from our th like 377 DPI uh, to th to 300. Scale to first. What that does is it ensures that all the pages are the same size. What it will do is uh, take the first page as kind of your master size and any other page that isn't that that has a different number of uh, pixels it will change it to uh, to match the first page and right here we have the, the file name that we're going to create and okay so we can go ahead and I'll, I'll actually hit submit this time And uh, I see here it starts. Uh, it'll start processing this, and uh, you know I'll show you the progress of the book. So that this will take about um, probably about ten minutes or so to to do this hundred and thirty page book. So I'll come back when it's done. Okay, and uh, here we have the PDF that it that it created. Um, notice the the top is kind of cropped off off of the title page, and uh, if I was doing it for for real, I probably would have made a separate crop for this uh, first page here. But uh, see, uh, it's all cropped and uh, and uh, laid out just how you need it. Um, it is an OCR, but uh, there's other programs out there that can o OCR the file that you could run that through. Um, we didn't. BSW also has options to change the coloring, making it like like make it black and white, uh, or li lighten things up or darken things up. Um, and uh, I will go through those in another video. Thank you for your interest.